how to make homemade hand sanitizer with aloe vera hello everybody welcome to seven savings garden where we talk about gardening ways to save money and other special events if you're new to the channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that we get notified of all upcoming videos so if you go to the store looking for hand sanitizers you won't be able to find it because it's sold out in all stores and even paper towel and and toilet roll and other stuff are all sold out in stores so um, you can make your own hand sanitizer with some items that you have in at home or you can look for a couple of items so you need alcohol uh, and aloe vera so in some stores you might not be able to find aloe vera so I'm gonna show you how to make it with uh, uh, make your own aloe vera gel or aloe vera liquid with homemade with uh, a store-bought aloe vera so we're just gonna cut our aloe vera we're gonna cut a piece since we need a quarter cup of aloe vera we're just gonna cut um a size that we think is gonna be enough for a quarter and then we're just gonna now we have a quarter we're gonna have to uh clean it now so that way we have um, just the inner gel uh for the for the mixture so now i'm just cleaning i'm just peeling out all the outer cover uh you can just you can do it like this uh, you can blend it like this but it won't be as nice as if you just clean out uh, the outer cover and you blend it so uh, we're just gonna use a knife and just blend uh, clean out the outer cover uh, so that way we have just the inner gel like this so now we're gonna put our inner gel in the blender and just blend it uh, we don't need to add any liquid or any water to it since it's mostly liquid it should blend easily and it should turn into liquid so we're gonna blend it for a few minutes so it should turn into liquid and once it turns into liquid we're gonna filter it out you can filter it out like I'm gonna do using a, a sift like this using a sift a sift will help you eliminate most of the chops and most of the big bulky um, pieces that will be inside um, another better way of doing it better than this will be use um, cheesecloth cheesecloth with uh, help you have just the liquid without any extracts so next we're just gonna pour it in our container that we're gonna use so once we pour in a container we're gonna use we're gonna start our process of making our um, homemade hand sanitizers so uh, the ingredients you need, you need aloe vera. If you can't find this in the store, we can we make ours uh, on this like right here. So if you can't find it in the store, you can make yours. The next thing we're gonna need is alcohol. Um, I'm using 90, 91% alcohol because that's what I found. But if you have 99%, that would be better. We also need glycerin. Um, we need tea tree oil, lavender, or any other oil that you like any other scent that you like um to use so now now what we need is we need to use a a, um, a jar or a container or a glass to mix everything so also you need a spray bottle like this where you're gonna put all of them inside and use later on you can get a couple of these you can get these at your local stores or dollar stores walmart target they have um uh, little travel containers that you can get and you can use them for that and store them inside so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start making our mixture uh, the first thing we need is alcohol and we need two cups of alcohol so it's two part alcohol and one part aloe vera so right now we're gonna measure two cups of alcohol and like i said the alcohol should be 91 or 99 percent you want your final mixture to be above 66 percent uh, according to the uh, um, center for disease control uh, yeah, the best um, hand sanitizer should be above 60 percent alcohol so this should be uh, about 70 percent alcohol once we're done uh, about 70 75 percent alcohol once we are done so now we have our two cups of um, alcohol the next thing we're gonna add is aloe vera so we have our aloe vera right here. You can use this one, like I said, if you have or have one that you get, you're able to get from the store, you can use store-bought aloe vera like this. But if you don't have one, 
you can just use uh, this homemade one that I just showed you how to do it and we're gonna pour it in there so once we pour it in there we're just gonna mix it up um, you want to make sure that you 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 add uh, glycerin what we need for glycerin is um, one eight cup glycerin or uh, three tablespoons um, three tablespoons is gonna give you one eight uh, cup glycerin so so we're gonna put three tablespoons of glycerin you can also find this at the pharmacy section uh, of your local stores so the glycerin and the aloe vera are gonna help moisturize your your hand because alcohol is very once you rub it in your hand is very dry so the glycerin uh, and the uh, aloe vera are gonna help in terms of the moisture and maintain some moisture in your hand and uh the last thing we're gonna add is we're gonna add our tea tree oil uh, like i said you can add tea tree oil or if you prefer lavender or any other scent you can add any other scent so we're just gonna add about three to five drops of um tea tree oil you 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 can add more if you prefer to be uh stronger but i'm just gonna add uh just about three to five uh, drops and then you just have to mix it thoroughly make sure that it's completely mixed and one of the reasons why i was saying that you can use um cheesecloth is because of a little bit of clumps like this this is not too bad you can easily grab all the clumps out um but if you use the cheesecloth you wouldn't have to uh you might not have to do this it's gonna have to squeeze out it's gonna squeeze out mostly the aloe vera but this is also good you can just uh, just take about three to five minutes and just take out all the uh, big clumps of aloe vera stash or aloe vera um, x um, lumps that are in there and then you're good to go so we're just gonna mix it completely as you see it's coming along everything looks great now so we're gonna pour it into our container uh, also, when you pour into a container, the clumps are going to come up to the top. This is what I took out of the mixture. So I poured it into this bottle, uh, my container, and there was little, all the clumps came up to the top. And I'm able to easily take them out. Like I said, if you don't have cheesecloth, you can just pour it like that. And just take out the few clumps that are there, and you should be good to go. So once we take out all of them, uh, I'm going to show you how it, how it how it comes out uh, just like any regular hand sanitizer that you get at a store and you um, be able to save money and also make sure that you uh, protect yourself and your family with um, homemade hand sanitizer okay let's try it and see how it comes out as you see it's coming out just like any regular hand sanitizer then you just want to cover your whole hand rub it up completely like um a direction from the cdc and other organizations says that just the most important part is washing your hands but if you cannot wash your hands your way you cannot wash your hands hand sanitizers can definitely help okay i hope you like the video if you like the video please uh give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share thanks for watching and stay safe